What is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking Johnson IV, and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer kill streaks. We're going to be talking about some of the things that I don't want and some of the things that we all want. But before we get into that, guys, I want to talk about the key, about the gameplay in the background real quick. Um, what happened is that at the end, um, we had all the flags captured, and we were pretty much losing by a few hundred points, but the game ended before two minutes. That's what I don't get, guys. We were losing so bad, but at the end, we ended up doing a small comeback, and the game ended. I'm like, how can the game end if the three flags were captured, the A, B, and C? All of them were captured, I promise, guys. All of them were captured. You're about to see that, like, in minute number four or something, you know. We had all the flags captured. I don't understand how we lost. Another thing is that in this game plan, I went, like, 34 and 14, so I did pretty good after I switched weapons up. Or maybe half with this weapon also, but still, I survived better with the second one that you're going to see like in minute number three or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we should have won this gameplay. Our teammates, my teammates, with my team, should have won this game. I don't understand how the hell did we lose, even though we captured every single flag. I'm guessing the kills also count, uh, counts towards the team. You know, I'm guessing that's that's an, another route that I didn't know. So, uh, anyways, let's move on to the main topic. Uh, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer kill streaks. Uh, one of the things that I really want Call of Duty to return on this next Call of Duty game is the spy plane. There's a reason why this kill streak is very important for every single Call of Duty game out there. The big maps. How do you expect to find someone in a big map? With freaking satcoms, are you kidding me? You gotta put like five of those down and then you finally get your spy plane. What the hell? And it only lasts like 20 seconds. Bring the spy plane back. If not, we're gonna get have another Call of Duty Ghost where we where we like all like sitting around, nobody's looking for each other because everybody's hiding and everybody has a warning, so everybody's just sitting in the corner. Do you want another boring game like that? Because that's how you get a boring game. Nobody's moving around, nobody knows where everybody's at because you don't have a kill streak for that. That's what you were missing for Call of Duty Ghost. If not Call of Duty Ghost, would it last at least a month more? You see, one thing can make a difference. So bring the spy plane back is very important. It makes the campers work. And those people who disagree with me are for sure the campers. Those are the campers right there. I don't care how many dislikes I get right now. You're the camper if you hate this idea. This should really bring the spy plane back and it's very important for every single Call of Duty game. So. It also makes the campers work. How? Well, they need to pull out a freaking auto lock launcher. They need, they really need to pull it out, and now they're gonna be found. So that makes them work. At least they're shooting their freaking something, you know, rock, rocket launcher or gun. You know, that's what makes them. That's what it makes them do. It makes them move around. So it makes everybody works. Like everybody's a winner. All right. So they really need to bring the spy plane back. Moving on to the next thing I really want to talk about is about the AC-130s, the Reapers, you know, the chopper gunner, load stars, whatever it's called, you know, the uh, other one um, from Black Ops 2, what's it called, the Able, oh, I forgot the freaking name of those, but, uh, you know, the flying kill streaks need to come back, really need to come back, the stealth bomber and the airstrike, the airstrikes are what made the freaking game even more fun, because, you know, all those explosions are just going out of nowhere, like, it's just crazy, that's what made the game even more fun, the air kill streaks. Why did you take them all away? We only had the freaking Loki and the chopper in Call of Duty Ghost and the other one where you can control the chopper. Uh, but we want more. What the hell is this? We want more control over the skies. That's what makes this game even more creative. It's a military game for God's sakes, man. Make it, make it military. Don't make it all this bullshit from the competitor's side. Like, Don't listen to them. Listen to the public because the public is the one that's making your game more noticeable. And more, uh, that what makes you more money. Also, listen to the public, put more kill streaks, and put the original ones back, like the AC-130, whatever name it, however you want. But we want more air kill streaks. So another thing that I really want to talk about is about the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer. There's gonna be swarm. I bet you there's gonna be swarm because there's this little part in the trailer, or in this full gameplay HD gameplay, uh, where a bunch of black flying thingies are like flying around the skies. I'm guessing that's a swarm. That's gonna be the swarm again. So as the swarm is coming back, another thing that I don't want to come back is the dog from from Call of Duty Ghost. Please do not bring it back. That thing is annoying as hell. I mean, even in Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, where you call in the dogs, those things were annoying as hell. You can't kill them. You just can't. It's just bullshit sometimes. Actually, Black Ops Two was more easier to kill them, but in Black Ops One it was a hell of a freaking goddamn. You know those nightmares, man. <laughs> 
when they call dogs against me. It was freaking nightmares. I mean, they were annoying as hell, so do not bring the dog back. I mean, it was cool and all, but, like, they were, like, hard to freaking beat. They were, like, freaking Terminator dogs or something, because they, they, they didn't freaking die after two clips. So, oh. those are my ideas, guys. I'm thinking they're also going to bring, like, a little Titanfall suit so you can use it on battle on the, on the battlefield, on the multiplayer. Because, um, you know, they're pretty much copying Elysium, Titanfall, slash Spider-Man, slash, you know, all these freaking bullshit, uh, you know, things. I think they should just really stick to the modern warfare era, man. Make it more militaristic. We want air control. We want all those old school kill streaks back. That's what made this game fun. So anyways, um, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. Tell me your ideas, guys. Do you have ideas for Call of Duty for the kill streaks? What should they put back? What they should take away? And what they shouldn't have bring back or something, you know? Just give me your ideas and, you know, hopefully these people can hear us or something because they really deserve a smack in the face for putting those bullshit kill streaks on Call of Duty. So that's my opinion, guys, and I support my opinion, and, uh, you know, whatever. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more.